Well, hello there, Jackie Holland from Sherman, Texas. I'm here at Upscale Fruit in Sherman, 217 East Houston. We've been here nine years, actually open nine years yesterday. And I didn't, I've never had a grand opening one of these days before I close, I probably will have a grand opening. <laughs> or maybe that would be, mean a grand closing, I don't know. But our store is full of stuff and it's great and it's very eclectic and interesting and people say that they enjoy it very much when they come. Uh, we have a lot of people that are just driving through, uh, maybe from just traveling from Office of Highway 75 and they'll stop in and just go to a lot of shops. There actually is three resale thrift shops in on my block now and so that that means that's gonna be a lot of fun for you because you can literally walk from one to the other. So three shops in one area and that and they're big, big stores. So you need to come in and check us out. You know, today I was just thinking about seasons and change and various things. And there's a lot of things that people say, there's a lot of stuff that's hidden that's gonna come out. There's lots, of, and I would just I would just say that to you. There's a lot of stuff that's hidden that's going to come out. And so lest you have or I have something that's hidden that we don't want to expose, we need to take that to the Lord and we need to repent of it if it's something wrong and uh, ask the Lord to help us to deal with that situation before it gets exposed because there's going to be a lot of stuff exposed it's going to be coming at us and you're going to have to just decide whether you even want to hear it or not you know there's just stuff coming and that's just the way it is and and uh, you know that that's the lord's doing and that is a good thing and so with that in mind, this is so, it, it could be minor, but it, it, I don't really see it as minor. When I went to the post office this morning, I talk about post office box 57, Sherman, Texas, 75091. That's where I get my ministry mail. And I've been at the jails or prisons, and, and inmates would say, I've written you, but I didn't hear back. Well, I did, wasn't getting their mail. And, I, and I've complained about this for a little bit. I'd go into, and I knew that I had paid my, for my post office box, I pay it twice a year. They've raised the price to $100 every six months or something for a post office box. So I need your mail. I need something in that box. Just if nothing but a, a cartoon written on it. Do something, send me something in my mailbox. P.O. Box 57, Sherman, Texas, 75091. Because I made sure this morning that that thing was paid. And they had obviously had some confusions and problems in the post office that the particular guy had come in to deal with it all and to, to get it straightened out. But my box, I wasn't getting any mail. <laughs> I'm like, you've got to be kidding. I'm like, where did my mail go? He said, well, I don't think you got a lot of mail. Well, no, I, I don't get a lot of mail, but maybe that's just because, I don't know service or whatever at the time but they obviously are making changes because see changes happen but just think of this um uh, the devil wants to steal kill and destroy he wants to take things treasures from you and blessings from you and he you know what i've been struggling for a long time as many of you and we do not want to have our treasure stolen from us we we want to take back what belongs to us now on this hand you'll notice i've got a ring i like this ring it's pretty but i've got it on and it's not hurting you can see the red still in my hand so i still have the active infection and i'm four months into taking uh, the strongest antibiotics you can take to get this uh, infection out of my hand because it was a probably a, a spider bite and then turned into cellulitis and perhaps MRSA in my hand. It is coming out, but it does stuff to you. And so the whole thing, God's been good to me and I haven't had problems with my guts and internal because of the strong antibiotics. So. I'm so grateful for that and I'm looking forward, but it's like the last two days I've worn a ring, but it's like the Lord is gonna restore those things that have been stolen. And uh, so today I did, made that discovery to, to go, at, go to the window and say, I'm not getting mail. And the whole thing is, it's like, no, you haven't, you you know, you're not, you didn't pay your box. This is April and always they would put an envelope in there and would say you know you have 
two days, five days, whatever it was, and you paid the bill, which was never a problem. I've always said it, but I didn't get that this time. But because he said there's been a shake up and a turnaround, and we're trying to get everything all straightened out, so, uh, so <laughs> unless a person asks, they don't know. Now, and that some see we don't ask enough questions. We don't ask, knock, seek. And the Lord says, if we ask, knock, and seek, we will find. And so we need to be a little more attentive to our bills. The other day I called my cable company and I was t t talking about the speed and being so slow and how I had had that service for 20 years. And uh, anyway, she wound up and, and figured it all up and it wound up it's going to be half the price and twice the speed. That's because I made the phone call. And so a lot of times we complain about things that only we can change. Only we can change, but yet we'll, if we're not careful, we'll sit around and complain and complain, and then we wonder why nothing happens. Well, we've got to check things out and search, search, seek, and search, and ask the Lord to reveal hidden things, because the devil is trying to destroy you. I can tell you, this past week, just one thing after the other. Uh, a few weeks ago, my washing machine went out. I'm still looking for a washer, a washing machine, having to go to the laundromat and then bring the clothes home to dry. Well, because I'm not going to buy a new washing machine because I know that somebody's going to have one or uh, if somehow miraculously mine might start working, I don't know. I probably it was probably a belt or something. It's old, but it was a blessing. And uh, there's just things that you just put on hold. And so there, there's certain things you wait on. That I don't mind waiting on. But my mail, I wanted my mail. And we want our correspondence, and we want to stay connected to people. And so when our email goes down or our uh, computers break down, and and then you and, and God forbid that the mail would be held up, and and somebody would just say we were waiting for somebody to ask. <laughs> That's how they were going to get it all straightened out. Well, thank God I had the good sense to go in there, and I had just been praying that the Holy Spirit would lead and guide and show me and uh, reveal and give me His you know spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. And so that would that would uh, include just about anything you do, see, touch, anything really. You just uh, you need God's guidance and help. He said, "In all of your ways, if you will acknowledge me, I will direct your paths." So I'm I'm real excited about what God is doing in my life and I'm believing that the store, you know, I'm hoping that you're going to bring me something, some really good items, some uh, nice items that I can sell and I hope you'll donate them. I hope you'll donate them to the ministry and I'll give you a write off. But if not, if you're going to sell them at a very low price that maybe I can afford, but a garage sale type price I would say. And. Uh, but we need some really neat things because I need to get people in here because I need to make sales. You have to pay rent, you have to pay utilities. And uh, I have um, a, my table and chairs set up here where I can do my training for my chaplains for women and meetings for one-on-one uh, -on -one with people. And I, I just am saying, you know, God is for you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? I'll probably start doing some um, just simple weddings in here and so if, if you're uh, local and you get your uh, you you decide you're going to be married uh, then contact me and we'll talk about uh, doing a little ceremony right here and um, and pray over you and bless your bless your marriage God is so good to us he's so good and I'm so thankful that he is uncovering bad things and he is revealing truth i want him to reveal truth if i've done or said or anything to anybody that's hurt them i apologize and i would say to you if you're listening if i've ever done anything to neglect you or hurt you then i'm, I'm so very sorry and i would say sh share that with me one time there was a man that i worked with and he came to me, and I, know, I knew he didn't act like he liked me very much, but I, I couldn't quite figure out why. And, and one day he came into my office, this was years ago, but you just don't forget these things, and he said, uh, uh, I forgive you. Uh, forgive you. I'm like, oh, good. Well, what, what did I do? And, um, and he said, I don't remember. Maybe I didn't 
maybe I didn't, uh, maybe he felt disrespected or maybe I didn't say something to him that I should have. I don't know. I don't even know if he ever explained. He just basically was saying he forgave me. And for years he had been holding that again. He didn't, he didn't hate me. He just didn't like me and didn't care for me. And uh, that was interesting, I thought. And so uh, I forgave I forgave him, but I said, look, if you had just come to me in the beginning, you, you wouldn't have had those bad feelings about me all these years. And it kind of showed me a lesson. We, a lot of times we'll harbor thoughts, uh, you know, in our mind, in our heart, and we don't deal with the situation. So if possible, the Bible says, be at peace with everybody. And just think of this, if we have secret sin or anything that we've done that's not good, God will reveal it and you can ask him to reveal it. Lord, search my heart. See if there's any wicked way in me and show me the, the light of the right way to go and help me to walk in that right way. Tonight I'll be going to the prison with our group, a basic uh, ministry group and uh, I always enjoy that so much. I'm thankful that God has allowed me to be alive to be able to do my outreach ministries. Some people may not think you know, if you're not working at a church, uh, that uh, your ministry is not effective. But to be honest with you, whosoever will outreach ministries does have church status. We are, we are a church. We, our status is actually as strong as First Baptist somewhere. <laughs> so, but I don't push all that and everything because I'm just trying to hear God and do and walk in his will and and take one step at a time, one day at a time. That's what he said to him. And he said to seek him daily and we'll find him, search for him. When we, uh, when we do search, we're going to find the Lord. So remember, hidden things are going to be exposed. So if you've got anything, anything, run to God with it because who knows, but he will never let that come to light. That's a blessing when you run to God with with anything and you confess that it was wrong or you know hidden just say and, and just ask him now not cover up but to, he's already covered with the blood but sometimes if we don't if we don't repent and we don't acknowledge our sin to him then it has to be exposed so we want to do the right thing and I just speak a blessing over you today and over this ministry and I pray that the Lord blesses it and I'm so excited <laughs> I, I'm I, I just can't tell you how sad sad it made me to think that my mail had been returned to the inmates and different people and uh, basically the ministry, ministry was stolen from but that would just be like the devil wouldn't it but today it got straightened out, Lord willing, and I hope they get everything straightened out down there at that post office. And um, I, so I, you write me, call me, but you can even send uh, mail to the store here if you wanted. And it's uh, 217 East Houston Street in Sherman, 75090. So I can put those addresses up for you if, if you like. And, but just know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. And remember, things that are exposed are getting ready to be revealed from every angle, from the polit politics to the churches, to individuals, to business, and uh, and just uh, personal lives. God doesn't want us to to cover cover up our sins. He wants us to confess our sins, and He said He's faithful and just to cleanse our sins and to and to cleanse our heart of all unrighteousness. Thank you for praying for my hand that this uh, infection go away. And um, and I'm praying I'll get more PET scans this next uh, this next month and kind of see hopefully uh, hopefully the uh, the antibiotics. Even though what the devil meant for evil, God will turn it for good. And maybe it's uh, taken down some of the sizes of some of those tumors in my in my body. So God bless you. God be with you. Let his peace be upon you. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Enjoy people. It, life is a gift, and every breath is a gift. And the Bible says life is like a vapor, so remember that. And remember, everything that's hidden is going to be uncovered. So get it right with God so that perhaps it will not be uncovered to others, but it would be between you and God as it should be. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.